Hundreds of people are signing a petition appealing the superintendent's decision to reinstate a student who allegedly made a hit list with students' names on it. And tonight, there's still a lot of legal questions people are asking. Parents are pushing back. It's not just the safety of the kids in the school, but it's safety for him, too. Last year, a Connor Middle School student allegedly made a hit list with students and teachers' names on it. Earlier this month, families voiced concerns after finding out the student was reinstated at Connor High School. All I could think about was my child in danger. Since then, an online petition has garnered hundreds of signatures asking Superintendent Matthew Turner to alter his decision. Every student has a right to a free and public education without prejudice. This doesn't have to be in the same school that, or a same campus that the person made those threats. According to NKU law professor Ken Katkin, the school board can expel the student. If a kid poses the threat of force uh, 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 or violence on school property, he can be suspended or expelled. The law doesn't need to be changed to allow for that. Katkin says it's a different story if there's no longer a concern. And if the school does believe that this kid really is no longer a threat, then they probably shouldn't suspend or expel him. In a statement to WLWT, the superintendent said in part, the Kentucky Constitution guarantees the right to a public education for every child without prejudice, and we are obligated to follow state law. If you have concerns regarding education law, we strongly encourage you to talk to your local state legislator. While it's true that the Kentucky Constitution guarantees every kid the right to a public education, it definitely does not require that that has to be done in the regular public school. It's not just our county. It's every county in the whole state of Kentucky right now that is probably watching what happens to this situation. Now that student was charged with second degree terroristic threats, the status of those charges is still unclear tonight. Reporting live, Rachel Hersheimer, WWT News 5.